Welcome back everyone, Dino Joe here. Got my little helper today. And today, we got a little legend. 346 XP, we'll get some baseline dino runs. This is little Blakeland, she's helped me out today. All right, we'll get this 346 fueled up. Fueled oil, we'll get a weight on it. This is the original style, 42 millimeter. No decompression valve, this is all stock. All right, so two saws on the bench. Steel 271. Husqvarna 450 Rancher. It's a couple more 50 cc's from the 50 cc shootout video. They're getting ported up finally. So, a few days, I'll have a video up of those. And we'll see what kind of power we can make from a clamshell. With the clamshell design, you can't do the machine work to increase compression. With that being said, most of the clamshell saws are pretty conservative. So there is a little bit of room to improve on the build. There we go, we got 346. And while we're here, I have a non strato wild thing. Might as well see if that runs. non strato wild thing. Completely other side of the spectrum. This is 2375, 42 cc, so it should be the same 42 cc as this 346. This Husqvarna has a 353 top cover, but other than that, it is all 346 XP. Get this wild thing fueled up. Throw some oil in it. This little wild thing, it's kind of a legend in its own right, too. Honestly, not sure if it's going to run, but we'll see. Oil in it. There we go, it's full of oil. And there we have it. Two early 2000 40 cc rippers. No break on the wild thing. We'll see if they fire up and we'll see if we can get some power runs. We'll try this wild thing first. Primer bulb seems to be priming. Turn that on, pull that out. Need to get a scrunch. Let me know if you like this more freestyle type of video where it's more than just one simple subject. Because after doing a few of them, they might be easier to make anyway. But let me know what you guys think. If you like seeing the struggle or if you just want to see the action. Oh boy. All right, there's that one. We'll see if it fires up. Let's set that back on. And wish me luck. Almost. It runs, sounds a little lean, so we should be able to tune that out. Now, We'll see if we can get 346 to fire up. Make sure it's got spin. Yep. All right. All right. They both live. So we'll get them on the dyno. Alright, before we get those run, I'm going to show you a little bit that we got going on right now. This is steel. 020. Cut the squish, cut the base, get that laid out for porting. We got steel 661. Alright, we get a full belt. Alright, it's not much to look at. Here's the dyno. This is the load cell right there. That's what takes all the reading. You come around to the other side. And there's the data boxes. So we'll get this, get this fired up, warmed up. And we can make some pulls. Just regular bar chain. 3H14 sprocket. Got some oil. It's not a pretty machine. But it does its job. There's the valve. Turn the pewter on. 
Let that get warmed up. And here we have some more sauce to get through. 200T up there, MS400. Those two Echoes will be for sale soon. And the Husqvarna 572 full wrap. And on the Novice Lumberjack, Bodie. He built the Binford Bad Boy. That'll be coming in for porting. Well, I'd never done one, so I went and found a Tim Allen Bad Boy. So, I do believe they're similar. So I'll be building this one up while I'm building Bodie Saw. So you can look forward to that video coming up. And here we have 572 Fire Rescue Saw. This will get a full build. 660 in a box. And we'll come over to some other fun builds. Don't mind the clutter. We got lots of clutter. A couple of pumpkins. Pumpkin season came early. Brand new, 592. 540 XP. This is the Auto Tune X Torque. I want to say this, yep, 2021 saw. So we'll see how that does. Waiting on some parts for a 3120. That build will be up soon. And we got this big boy. MS880. Already has max flow. Already has bark box. So we'll see what we get out of this. Oh, that's just a handful of saws coming through. A bunch of them going out. A bunch of them coming in. Everything's flowing pretty well. I forgot, but I got to double check. Pretty certain this is running 325. So we'll knock this clutch off real quick. And we got to put small spline 3 8 by 7 rim on it for the dyno. All right, and we'll fire this saw back up. Trip the brake a few times just to get that clutch cinched down good. Really don't want that flinging off on the dyno. 346 XP. 12 pounds, 9.9 .9 ounce. There's the metric. That's full of fuel and oil. There's the wild thing. 2375 non strato. 11 pounds, 12.7 ounces. There's the metric. This as well, full of fuel and oil. Here's the results. 346 red lines. Numbers in the box taken to 8,800. 3.64 horse for the Husqvarna. Two horse for the wild thing. Wild thing's way down here. Not even close. Didn't expect it to be. Any 346 fans in here? This is the OE 42 millimeter version. All stock still has the screen. We'll port that up. And I do have a 44.3 new edition cylinder that we'll put on and pour it up sometime too. I don't know. 346 overhyped? Are they just right? Should we uh, run this 346 versus the new saws? Or keep it with these old ones? Let me know what you think. Alright, thanks a lot everyone.